First and foremost, man, I'm excited about, you know, really getting this season started. It's been a long camp. Uh, guys have uh, been working hard. It's been a very productive camp. Uh, and then uh, obviously this Saturday down in uh, Louisiana, we're looking to put this, uh, put it to the test. Okay. Open for any questions right now, if you got any. So when you, when you take a look at your depth chart, obviously it looks to be pretty obvious, but what about on the back end? How, how do you kind of see it once you get through Colin and, and Nick? Um, well, obviously, uh, our plans of uh, not red shirt and Lee Witherspoon is kind of going out the window. Uh, we're not really going out the window, but in terms of, uh, you know, he's in the rotation in terms of playing. Uh, uh, after that, you know, I really can't speculate. I mean, we got our three deep right now, and that's what we're rolling with. Unless something else happens, we'll move guys up from the, uh, from the practice squad. Who will you take aside those three guys running back? Or will you have any other running backs in the roster? Well, those are three, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we've worked a couple of receivers at the position also, uh, not to name any guys, but, uh, you know, we have a plan, obviously, but uh, three deep right now is, is, is good enough in my mind. Mm -hmm. How comfortable are you with Witherspoon and his ability to pass, protect, and just some of the nuances that come without having the ball in your hands? Well, the thing about it is pass protection is, uh, is a toughness deal, you know, and uh, he has plenty of toughness, so... It's just a matter of just uh, him understanding, you know, the base fundamental rules of pass protection and just knowing who to block. And I think he's uh, he's progressing that area very well. You got veterans like Kyle and Nick. Obviously, you're in game week. You know, what's their intensity level been like this week now that they have an opponent? Uh, <laughs> you know, they've been kind of edgy, you know, ready to, uh, you know, put all their hard work to the test. I know Nick is a senior. This is his last year. He's very – uh you know, eager to get out there and uh, play. He'll, without a doubt, get more play time he's ever gotten, you know, here, you know, just being, uh, I call him 1A and 1B, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, you know, the lineup, you know, you know, obviously Colin is the starter, but I see Nick as a starter also. So those guys have been very anxious and they're just ready to go. How's Colin been a little different? I mean, you don't from last year, but watching him from spring to now, his approach to camp, his practices, does his veteran nature show through now, especially the fact that the one job's his. Um, yeah, you know, and, and again, I'll, I've always say this, you know, we've gone through a maturation period, you know, and, it's, and football is all about, you know, just getting better, you know, as a, as a person, getting better as a football player. Um, I think he's a better football player now than he was last year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just a natural progression of things. You know, I won't, I won't say just because I'm coaching him, but, <laughs> you know, I won't say that, you know. That might be the case, but, <laughs> you know, but he's, uh, you know, he's doing a good job. And I think he's he's preparing because obviously he has goals to play on the next level. He's preparing, you know, like that, like that's what he wants to do. So he does so many things well. Is there any one thing sit there say you can do this better? I, well, he can do everything better. I mean, you know, he's a complete football player. I, I just think, you know, you know, from a coaching standpoint, you always got to work on things and just get better and better. So I'll never tell him he's all set even though he may think he's all set, but you can always get better. You coach some guys that have gone to the league and had really big careers there. I mean, do you see that kind of potential with Kotlin as well? I do. I think sky's the limit for him. You know, obviously, um, everything is a process. You know, uh, there's one thing to go to the league, there's one thing to stay there, and there's a process that you have to follow in order to, uh, you know, stay there year after year after year. And then we have a coach on our staff and Terrell Buckley, you know, and even uh, – you know, Marcus Johnson, those guys stayed in the league <clears throat> quite a while, so they would know better than anybody. It only lasted like two and a half, three years, so. <laughs> well, the 70 man roster, do any of you guys have some special team roles? They do. They do, whether they're, uh, you know, a starter or, or backup or whatever, but, you know, they, they, they've all, obviously, you know, Kylan, not so much, but Nick and Lee, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, those guys, have, you know, have special team roles and assignments. They're plugged into the depth chart in terms of that also. Is there an ideal number of carries that you would like to get Lee involved in uh, this week? No, we'll just see how everything goes, you know. Um, I don't have a set number. I, I mean, you know, I just flow with the game and just see how it goes, you know. But right now, you know, those guys, uh, you know, uh, you know, Nick and, and Kyler, they're going to get bulk of the work. Catch me a minute. Sorry, you got to ask. But looking at the defensive line, obviously mm -hmm. you all get a chance to go up against them. Uh, looking at that interior with Jeff not here and everything, what have you seen from maybe some of those young guys on the interior? Our defensive line yeah. or their defensive, defensive line? line sorry. Ah, man, I've, you know, Deke Adams is a hell of a coach. Uh, you know, I know one thing. I see those guys coming out of the meeting, 
you know, and they look pretty. You know, they're they're big now, and um, there's a good defensive line tradition. They've played with some good football players, some high draft picks that I'm sure have you know passed some tricks of the trade down to those guys. So I think they're uh, they're ready and they're prepared and they're ready to go. Keep you on your toes in the running back room a little bit. Again, you said they keep you on your toes in the running back room a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, especially Chauncey River. He, I mean, he <laughs> he he talks he talks crap to me. I'm not I'm not even out there playing. You know, <laughs> I mean, he's unbelievable. I was like, Chauncey, you can, you can ever just say, hey, coach, how you doing? I mean, he's always talking crap to me. So they don't like running backs. They don't like uh, offensive linemen. They don't like running back coaches, and they don't like offensive line coaches. So they got the right mentality for the position. So. What do you say for <laughs> Louisiana's defense, especially their front line and their, their linebackers? You know what? I think, uh, I think Ron Roberts, he does a good job in terms of, uh, you know, his scheme and uh, getting those guys in the right place. You know, they're very uh, – fundamentally sound and assignment sound. So it's going to be a challenge, you know. Um, again, they have good team speed on defense. Uh, they swarm to the ball. Uh, secondary, being a running back coach, I haven't really locked in on those guys as much. Uh, but again, you know, it's, it's, it's a good defensive scheme, fundamentally sound. They play hard, they're physical, you know. Uh, and again, you know, it's something that we can't, uh, we got to go out there and play our game and we can't take it for granted. How excited are you guys just to be able to go up against someone who's not their own defense? You know, again, you know, we got a we got a bunch of ball players, man, guys that love ball, and, and you know, and and they they they've been preparing for this moment, you know, all camp. So, uh, and even from a coaching perspective, we, you know, we've done some uh, we've done some similar things, we've done some different things. We want to kind of see, you know, how that stuff you know looks, and you know, look and, and see if it's going to give us a chance to win football games, you know on Saturday and even in the future.